The Answer. Hey, welcome back. You are listening to Get Down to Business, and I'm thrilled to be joined by our returning guest, our health insurance guru, Tom Arabali. Tom, welcome back to Get Down to Business. And how are you doing? I'm fantastic. I'm great. Yes. It's, uh, I know great. you've been uh, attending sessions and seminars that uh, you use to bring more information to your customers, which is what it's all about. So, Tom, I want to dive right in. Every time I have you on the air, we are able to demystify yet a little bit more about health insurance coverage. So let's get right into it. Uh, Tom, mm-hmm. a term that is frequently used um, right now, there are a lot of uh, employees. Uh, we've been talking about this throughout the program. We'll continue to do so that unfortunately have been furloughed, some that have been laid off, some companies that are actually doing more hiring right now. So the term that every new employee deals with is open enrollment. Tom, can you Uh educate our listeners what open enrollment actually is? Well, that's the permission slip uh, for the uh, Affordable Care Act, Obamacare, that will allow people um, to go ahead and enroll into the government plan. And uh, this year, I believe it's going to be uh, November 1st to December 15th. But I could be wrong because they really haven't given us the uh, open enrollment period. Very interesting. So that, is, that is open enrollment. That's something that everybody deals with. I want to, we're doing the lightning round right now because I want to make sure yeah. that we cover as much as possible. Um, what is short term disability insurance? Again, I'm asking these questions because new employees are asked these questions all the time. Do you want this and do you want that? And are, a, you know, here's the period of open enrollment. So, what is short term disability coverage? Okay, it has, that short-term disability has nothing to do with open enrollment. Short-term disability is usually on group plans, or clients can purchase that on an individual basis. <clears throat> what it basically does, God forbid uh, you are, you're injured on your job, and let's say you're making um, $1,000 a week, uh, you will get uh, the average is approximately an award of 65% of your weekly salary uh, from the time of your disability if you're awarded that award uh, all the way up to age 65. At age 65, then that award stops. That Very income stops. And, and Tom, when, when a new employee comes into a company and they're presented with a menu of all of the different coverages, what is your advice in, in, in what they should be enrolling in and what they should possibly be skipping for, uh, for a later date? Personally, I would tell them to skip the short-term disability and take uh, a long-term care policy because, uh, again, short-term stops at age 65 – and long-term care lasts until the day you die. So if you're 100 years old and you die, which is not unheard of, then your long-term, disabil- uh, long-term care slash long-term disability will last until the day you die. Wow. So, Tom, uh, we, we entered the segment talking about uh, you have been at uh, conferences and learning a great deal. What's the latest in the, uh, in the world of health insurance? Well, we're looking for another increase in Obamacare, the Affordable Care Act. And uh, what President Trump has done, and it was repeated and repeated and repeated, that he eliminated the penalty for not purchasing a qualified Affordable Care Act policy. So clients can choose a non-compliant plan that obviously is not in compliance with the Affordable Care Act, and that those plans that I sell have no maternity coverage. Those usually are four to five hundred dollars less per person per month. So if it's a husband and wife, the husband has to pay for maternity coverage and the wife has to pay for maternity coverage. So it's just something that uh, is unisex. That, and, and it allows uh, folks to, I used the term menu before, it allows, allow, allows folks to go and sort of pick off the menu or if, uh, if you're missing uh, buffets, I could use that terminology too. It allows you to pick what you want from the all-you-can-eat buffet to determine what it is that you need, what it is that you want, and uh, make sure you're getting the right options for you. Is that correct, Tom? Correct. That is, that is correct. 
Uh, interesting. So uh, you are always a, a guru on everything health insurance related. You, uh, I know there is a period of open enrollment for um, for uh, folks that are starting sometimes at a, at a company. Um, but Tom, you are able to talk to any of our listeners anytime. Yes, sir. And I can enroll people at any time. Yes, there are some underwriting guidelines. So it's uh, something where I am not going to tell a person who has insulin dependent diabetes, I'm not going to have that person go into a short term plan, because frankly, they're not going to get approved. My advice to them is to stick with their group plan or go into the Affordable Care Act plan. Excellent. Excellent. So Tom, we're running out of time. I want to make sure our listeners yeah. know where they can f- get in touch with you. You always answer your phones. You respond to every email. What's the best way for people to reach you? Call me at 630-863-3477. That's 630-863-3477. Uh, Tom Arabali, health insurance expert. The uh, website is healthplanchicago.com. Uh, reach out to him because he can provide you the, uh, the options from the all-you-can-eat buffet, uh, the right options for you. That's what it's all about. Tom Arabali, thanks as always for educating our listeners. We'll have you back on the show real soon. Yes, sir. Have a great day. Thank you very much. You too. Check out my website at shalomkline.com. That's where you can download podcasts from the past six plus years of the show, all about small business jobs and entrepreneurship. Follow me on Twitter. We'll be back and get down to business in just a moment. Stop wasting. 